everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh 1. Please take the time now to hit that like button in this video, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Go check out NovaFleet86 on Spotify or anywhere you find your podcast. Episode 3 is out right now, and I am in a new Gotcha Live web series called Duel Academy. It is a fun Yu-Gi-Oh! based kind of show. Link is in the description, or you can just click up right here. I really do hope that you guys check it out and that you all enjoy it. So, recently, and when I say recently, I mean yesterday while I'm recording this video, Nickelodeon held their 2021 Kids Choice Awards. So, I obviously decided to check it out because every single year I always check out the Kids Choice Awards. It's kind of tradition at this point. I will be talking about who won certain awards, of course, but I kind of want to just talk about how the awards show was in general. So, the first thing I would like to talk about is Keenan as the host, Keenan Thompson. It took so long for them to get him to be the host of the Kids Choice Awards. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised at this. You'd think that he would have been the host of the awards a lot sooner, but finally he's the host of the Kids' Choice Awards this year. And to be honest, I thought he did a pretty good job. Like, I mean, this is Keenan Thompson we're talking about. He's a pretty funny guy. And so I thought, you know, with some of the skits that he had to do and some of the jokes he was saying, I thought he did a pretty good job. I, I wonder if it would have been just a little better if, say, he probably were to have been able to perform in front of a live audience instead of just having, like, you know, everybody kind of zooming in and being on, like, the video screens in the back and whatnot. He probably would have been a little better if it was in a, in a live audience, but obviously we couldn't do that because we're still in this pandemic right now. But even either way, I think that he did a pretty good job. And speaking of the setup of the KCAs this year, I thought that they did a pretty interesting job with how they kind of did the stage and also how they presented some of the other awards throughout the event. I was wondering with the pandemic, are they just going to do kind of like similar to what they did last year where everybody was practically filming their own segment at home? and it was going to be compiled into this huge event or were they actually going to be somewhere filming the actual award show obviously that's kind of what they did i think they called it like the fan wall or something like that where they had all the kids watching from home and everything like that which was pretty cool and the whole stage they had a lot of it was honestly slime i think they called it like a slime lagoon throughout the show or something like that Honestly, I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely a lot of slime. Also, with this award show, we actually were able to get a preview of a new movie that I talked about recently in my last Nickelodeon video, the Paw Patrol movie. I was wondering if we were gonna get a preview and then they did announce it, I think like maybe the week of this event. And so, of course, that was something I really wanted to see, mainly because I wanted to see how the, the pups were going to be animated in this movie. When I saw the preview, which was pretty short, by the way, I thought that these characters looked adorable. Like, it, they looked great. Just looking from what they were able to give us in the preview, it looks like they're going to have it obviously be a different tone from the original cartoon series, where obviously that's for preschoolers. It looks like the Paw Patrol movie is gonna kind of reach out towards obviously kids, but still gonna be somewhat enjoyable, I guess, for family. That's at least what it looks like. All I can say is that in terms of the animation and how the pups look in this movie, I'm definitely very excited for that. I'm still a little iffy about like some of the celebrity choices they have, but still, it kind of looks like it might be a good movie. So eh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we get another trailer or this was technically a teaser, so when we get an official, like, two-minute trailer or something, we'll definitely see what that's gonna be like, and I'll probably do a review of that on this channel. And the last thing I want to mention before we get to some of the results is the music performances, and both of them were from Justin Bieber. I mean, they did have kind of, like, another musical performance where they had, like, all these kids from Nickelodeon, and they were kind of doing, like, this, uh, collaboration of who won best song and whatnot, and they kind of sung like a snippet from each song that was nominated. I thought that was pretty cool, honestly. For the more official performances, both of them were Justin Bieber. I, I just, I just do not like this guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm not gonna go ahead and pretend that, oh, every single song of his is terrible. I'm not gonna be that kind of guy. It's just, as a person, I, I do not like Justin Bieber as a person. Like, maybe he's gotten better. I don't know. Haven't seen it. His performances were okay, I guess. That's kind of all I 
really have to say about it. Thank God he didn't perform yummy or, or I would have, my head would have exploded. I think that's about as much as I can really say about the award show in general. I mean, there were a couple of slime moments that were kind of cool, to be honest, like with Keenan at the end getting slimed on so many times, probably the most amount of slime I've seen in a while. But of course, this can't be a review video of the Kids' Choice Awards without talking about the people who won the awards themselves, or the shows that won the awards themselves, of course. So we're going to be going over a couple of those today, um, starting with the favorite animated series. You know, um, I'm not going to waste my time, so I'm not going to waste yours. We all knew who won, so let's just continue. <laughs> For favorite female artists, you have Ariana Grande, and, and to my surprise, favorite male artists, you got Justin Bieber out of all people. And then you have BTS, of course. What do they win? All three of their nominations. Favorite music group, favorite song, Dynamite, which is a song that I literally just cannot get out of my head for a long time when I first heard it. And then favorite global music star, BTS, of course. None of these are surprising to me because the BTS stands or whatever they call it, BTS army, I guess, they're huge and they're insane. So it's like none of that was honestly surprising to me. Now, this is not me saying that I don't like BTS or anything like that. Like I've heard a couple of their songs and from what I have heard, their songs are good. They do put on a good performance, but they're not my type of music, I guess. Like I can't really find myself listening to BTS by choice. You got favorite kids TV show, which is Ale uh, Alexa, Alexa, I think, and Katie, Alexa and Katie, I, I guess that's how you say it. And I've never heard of that show before, but I'm glad that it wasn't Henry Danger or Danger Force that won any of those. Favorite family TV show, Stranger Things. Again, I, I honestly, I figured it was either going to be Stranger Things, Cobra Kai, or The Mandalorian. You got favorite reality show, America's Got Talent. Again, I knew that was going to win because they've won so many times. In my last video, when I was talking about the Kids' Choice Awards nominees, I mentioned that I have a love-hate relationship with America's Got Talent. I really do because like I do like seeing some of the talent on that show, but then when you see kind of like the finalists and it's always these singers that have very, very sad stories and certain people that have like actual nice different talent, ends up getting shafted. Yeah, I, <laughs> it, it annoys me. Favorite male TV star, Jace Norman. Honestly, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest because Nickelodeon loves Jace Norman. I mean, I don't think any of you guys know how much they love Jace Norman or how much they loved him over the years. Favorite female social star, Charlie D'Amelia. Of course, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Favorite male social star, James Charles. You have to be, you're kidding, right? James Charles is the favorite male social star? I mean, considering who this guy is and, and honestly, some of the, the lot of scandals that this guy's been in, how did he win? I, I would much rather have had Mr. Beast win because at least Mr. Beast is a, a good role model. I mean, again, I don't really watch a lot of his videos or anything like that, but I've seen what he does with his platform and he is a way better person than James Charles could ever be. Also, the only thing I gotta say is if you go on Twitter and type James Charles Kids Choice Awards, let's just say that they are flaming him for winning that award. <laughs> and some of the stuff that people are saying about him is honestly hilarious. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And so that is the results of the Kids Choice Awards, ladies and gentlemen. Was there anybody or anything that you guys voted on and did your vote for the nominees win or did they lose? Well, do you think that some of the awards should have been given out to somebody else? especially with favorite male social star like i mean seriously but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video what did you guys think of the kids choice awards this year did you guys think they did a good job did you enjoy it did you think it sucked i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button subscribe for more content and hit the bell to be notified on my next video thank you guys so much for watching and remember you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world see you next time Thanks,